let's jump in. Here's the number one question. I know this is, I can't give you a better layup for the alley-oop or a softball lob here, Paul, but why should I consider a PTZ camera? Well, PTZ cameras, you know, in the grand scheme of things are somewhat new, so it's not a bad question to ask. Essentially, pan tilt zoom cameras are remotely operated. And so if you're a one-man production, which so many people are starting to, to do these days, you can run the video production software and run a robotically controlled camera at the same time. But more than that, you can have a church or a facility that's equipped with multiple cameras and have a single camera operator. So it's really a very valuable video production tool that allows you to do more with less and generally less manpower, uh, which is enabling video producers, volunteers and others to do so much more with their video productions. Cool. I have one of your cameras here. It's your 12X camera. I wanted to let people see how small they are. You know, this one's got SDI on it and all that. And it, it pan, tilts and zooms. But one of the things that I think is so cool about these cameras is that it's real important for people. Oh, good. Good job. I'm following the camera. I'm learning is, uh, you know, a lot of times you have a very tight space limitation where you can't get a human being to be a camera operator in there, or you're on a tight budget, or you're restricted by just what you can use. You know, in a church situation, you can run out of volunteers. It's not like every church has five cameramen sitting in the, in the congregation at any given time. So the beauty of this is you can set it up, plus when you set them up and work them into the workflow of your show, you know where they are and what they're doing. So it's a variable that becomes kind of a set it and forget it. And I don't mean set the camera in one spot. I just mean, you know, you have that angle up there. You have it at the back of the balcony. You have it shooting across the stage, whatever you're doing with it. But you get used to it in your workflow. So it, it limits the variables that the operator of the switcher, whoever's running the show has to deal with, which makes the overall production a lot easier. And one of the things I like to tell people is you can operate these pan tilt zoom cameras with a joystick controller and you guys sell those or with presets or within an app like vmix wirecast or tricaster right paul that's right so these joysticks are obviously very popular a lot of people like to have a joystick just sitting there ready for them this is our ip joystick but i'd say the most popular is the the smartphone app whether you have an android or an ios device or even a kindle fire um you know, it's just great. And so PTZ Optics has had IP camera control from day one. So I could sit here and tell you every camera that, and software that we work with from new tech to, you know, the Elgato Stream Deck to OBS. I mean, the list goes on and on. We have it on our website. But as soon as you get that camera on your network, the sky is the limit.